Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stumpin' Up demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland and today I have another of my easy cards Now this one is made from bits of scraps that were left lying from a couple of projects that I have been preparing for my um, Crafternoon Tea in Person event So I had been chopping up designer series paper and so I had these bits this is Sprom and I've forgotten the name of that this sheet this is all that I've got left now of this pack it was a six by six I think it's take a bow is it take a bow um six by six pack it's designed to go with the die that Stamping up half this and then um, oh my goodness in the mini catalog it cuts strips so that you can make lovely beautiful bows for your parcels i didn't get that just well because you can't have everything can you so but i had the these that piece I, I, almost a six by six piece of this left so i've cut that down to the pat size for a card i had this piece from making a card just the other day there, Lion, as well. Um, and I had this scrap. Now these two pieces are from the Rainbow, no, not Rainbow anything, Reindeer Days designer series paper, which goes with the Reindeer Fun stamp set. So what I did was I measured the bits that I had, these two bits, and I made Knight of Navy layers for them because I think you know Knight of Navy really goes well with the different greens that are here so that's why I've gone for that well and because also remember I said I would try and get Knight of Navy in every card in this 100 days series so everything's got a Knight of Navy layer to go on so this is just called like it's just a scrap card but you could call it a layer card it's really I may have done other layer cards even in this series but you some just remind you and inspire you to use up what you've got on your desk so i will be using the christmas is better together simply because the bit of picture that i've got left here is mum and baby a deer whatever kind of deer they are i'm not sure and i'll need my night of navy it's a ink and this is just going to be simple, no rocket science. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment here. I love the font of this, it's really pretty. And it's nice and bold and you can see it fine. I think it would be good for embossing as well. So Christmas is better together. It is a time of year where we like to get together with family and friends. If we can, not everyone can, but if we can, we usually do. Do that. Do do that. Actually thinking, we'll put Christmas is better together, but we could put may all your days be full of cheer on the inside or just Merry Christmas on the inside. We'll just do it plain and simple. Merry Christmas on the inside. Yeah. Now, I do have bigger blocks and that just fits that way, but I find it just balances a wee bit better if I'm using the wrong block to... Well, I would say if you only have one block, you just think, now I've got ink on my finger. Luckily, I'm aware of it before I stamp. There we go. Right. Let's see if I can... Take the wet ink off anyway. Close the ink before I cause an accident and really just glue the layers together. And I, I just like this, the green and blue 
with the wee pops of red and pink colour palette here. Right, will this work? Yay! I've just got a little wee jar here. Now let's put the inside inside. I forgot to say I've also got a piece of that Knight of Navy and Gold ribbon. I adore that. It's beautiful. And let's pop this layer. We could use this layer, but then I was thinking that that would just be all too much. <laughs> that would buzz your eyes. So I kind of thought this nice green pattern behind the holly works really nice. Well, that this is pretty paper too. But I know one piece left on the pack is really no sense in keeping that. There are the strips which I think will maybe make a strip background card soon. Calls for a patchwork or something. Quilting type card or weaving even. Right and then this one goes on there. You just match the layers up. So if you've got, you know, a lot of patterns, just simply by layering them up with a self colour just helps your eye cope with all the different patterns. So whatever my piece of paper is, I add four millimetres, so maybe an eighth of an inch or something like that. It's bigger for your layer to be. I'm not sticking that down yet. I'll stick these together and then we'll decide. Kind of thinking that the wee picture of the deer, but it's got, you know, part of another deer there, which is okay. But I was thinking, did you hear me thinking? If it overlapped them like that, that then it just lets you focus just on these guys. So I think I'll have a bit of ribbon at the top here just to add a bit of interest at the top of my car. Now I'm just tying this in a knot. I'm not going to attempt to tie a bow because I think a knot is enough. I think a bow would be too fussy anyway. I'll trim it when I'm done, I think. Just trying to decide. Yay, that works. So it's sort of given, with using Night of Navy, it is given alternative um, colour scheme, really. I'm just going to stick this one down with glue. We don't want, because we've got the layers with the card, we don't want to add too much dimension to the card because it would be too expensive to post. I do want that sort of to one side. I mean, you could put that in the middle if it's, do you know, if that's your bag.
that works for me. So, right. So, I want to stick this one down. Let me put it just slightly higher up. This one. Just hold it till the glue grabs. And then we'll trim this. Now, I have packed my glue dots ready for my event, but I've got some of these. Um, let me see if I can. I just want to, sometimes if the ribbon doesn't want to do what you want it to do, a wee glue dot. These are glue dots from leftover from a kit, but my normal pack of glue dots is in the bag ready for Sunday. So let's just, we might need to use a couple more. That way, that no, just doesn't want to, doesn't want to comply with me today. But we have glue dots. We have ways of making you do what we need you to do. Should put that further up so you can see. I hope I haven't gone off camera. There you go, that's caught it there because I kind of just want it to be more at a jaunty angle. And something about there to catch this one. This is a wee bit fiddly getting the backing off, but it does come off and then. I'll just help it to do what I wanted it to do. And then I'll look, see if we've got something a bit more sparkle. Whoops. Got those ones, or we've got these gold textured yeah they're a bit more like the gold that's in the ribbon whoops oh i hope you're okay <laughs> i just knocked the light and it just went flying these are nice these are from the mini catalog as well I think. Come in three sizes, and they do have like a, a bit of texture in them. They're almost like gold amber, if you know what I mean, because there's no such thing as gold amber, but they've got that look about them. So let's just maybe one, the medium one there, and maybe just put a little one here. There we go. Do you think that's a nice card? And it's just from bits and pieces that were lying on my desk from other projects. Put the lid on the glue, Janice. Put it back in the jar. Put your tweezers back in the tub. Scissors away. And there we have another easy card. What do you think? Let me know what you think of the colour schemes and let me know what you think of me sneaking Night of Navy into all my cards, although that's not really sneaky. But I normally, I've done the card a bit like this um, 
for a class but it, I had red and green backgrounds and that's what I've been working with with this paper but I think you'll agree that it actually looks good with Night of Navy as well. So thank you very very much for all your support throughout this series. We're getting close to halfway I think this will be about 48 but anyway thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one I hope